Ralph and Candid Camera. Life is a gamble where the false are true. Sometimes the odds are right against you. When problems come to stay, someone could step up and say, Turn and look across the way and smile. You're on Candy Camera. Smile. You're the star of the show. Just like the lady. Along with most people, Candid Camera has its share of parking tickets, but here's one we eagerly look forward to. Just to think, it cost us £6 for that one second of pleasure. So for those of you who missed it, here's an action replay. I can't hear what you're saying. Would you call me? No. There is a lady here. I'll ask her what you're saying. I can't hear you. Uh, hold on, please. I'm having trouble hearing um, what somebody is saying over the phone. Would you mind listening for me? I've got to take it down. Oh, Hello. Um, I, I, I'm going to take it down and then he's going to write it down. Yes, he said he's having difficulty hearing you. What did she say? Oh, yes, perfectly, yes. She's, he's, she's telling you, you're having difficulties with, their, with no, I'm, hearing. Listen. I'm not hearing well. Can you get close to her? Then you can hear better. Oh, you know it's the Neeson and Cookery Centre, don't you? The Neeson and Cookery... The Neeson and Cookery Centre. The knees are, What is it? Neeson? Can I write it down? Neeson Cookery. He's having difficulty hearing cookery. me now. Now, what was you going to say, then? Oh, yeah. Would you write down old English beetle cake? What does she say? Old English beetle. Yeah. beetle. Recipe for old beetle. English beetle cake. English beetle cake. A recipe for old English beetle cake. What about it? What about it? What about it? Why, why is he telling me this? They said that is the beetle for the recipe. Give him the recipe now. Strain two pints. Strain two, two pints. Strain three peas. Two pints. Three peas. Two pints. Two pints. Two pints. Two pints. Two pints of beet milk. Uh, I don't get that, but what kind of milk? Peach. Peach. Do you know what peach milk is? Do you know what peach milk is? Sorry? Uh, do you know what peach milk is? What was that? Pig milk. Milk. Yeah, pig's milk. Calling me a pig? No, it's uh, pig's milk. Well, why does he call me a pig? No, no. No, it's what it's called. Pig's milk. What do I do next? Mix with half an ounce of kipper juice. Baked beans. Yeah. And what's next? Simmer in a slow pan. I think he's very deaf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you may have to speak up. He said you're deaf. Mm -hmm. What was that? He said you're deaf. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. 
All right, carry on. Three pounds of proper duck seeds. Three pounds of proper duck seeds, mix in. How do you spell proper dom? I don't know. Dinner in low pan. Two pounds. Best cheese. Yes. No, it couldn't. It couldn't be. Couldn't be. You, he said it's not. No I'm, I'm getting a bit There's no up. cheese in it at all. Could you ask him what he means? He, he said there's no cheese in it. He said there is cheese. But it's not cheese. Please tell him that. Um, yeah, I, I won't stand for the nonsense like that. What, what? Oh, gee. That's cheese. It's like a liquid butter. Look, he'll not get away with this. Using well. language like that. No, well, that, that's mm, what he, he said. He can't say that to me and get away with it. No, well, that's, that's what he said. Uh, two pounds of best G. They take you on. Oh. Ask him what he really means. Listen, I think uh, 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 he took the pad away from me. No, let me I'll take it, it down. No, you can't hear me. What? Ah, uh, let me go. I'm sorry, what did you say? You can't she wants hear to me. Do. What did she say? She wants to write it. Right, I'll write it. So after that, you yeah, have done that, couldn't you?
This is a prominent sound recording studio in South London, and it is Jonathan's first venture as a pop recording manager. So he has invited along an eminent record producer to produce a disc of his latest discovery. Happy, this is uh, Mr. Samuels. Uh, this is my new boy, Happy. Uh, found him in Sheffield, like one or two others. Anyway, um, this is really to get your um, to get you into it. Um, if uh, if you're interested, that is to just um, you know, put a bit of finesse, a little more finesse into it. I think at the moment. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do, Danny? Do you want to lay down any tracks? Or just well, uh, let's let's just take it as it comes. Um, Happy, I think the best thing is uh, show Mr. Samuels, um, give him an airful of um, of the uh, act. This is it's it's unique. This it is absolutely unique, and I only touched a really unique one. Okay. So, okay, we are just discussing where we call him. I want you to give Happy that solo bit of his. Yeah. So give him a lead in and um, let's try that. think that you're going to have a juggling record the only one absolutely i think people are going to flip over it but what what can you what can you add to it what do you mean what can you add to it i mean uh what are you selling the music or the juggler we're selling the disc of a juggler well i don't particularly think it's gonna be much what? good well, he turned the job down, so we invited along yeah, another yeah, producer. Yeah, yeah. This boy was, um, he's going on the new, new faces, um, September, and, um, I, I reckon he's going to get right through. I don't put my money on people who lose. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. Anyway, um, okay, boys, um, just to show Mr. what it's all about. What's your idea eventually is to, is to to do a record of the music no no no, no. i mean it, it is a, a record of the juggling uh, the music is strictly incidental just a lead in and lead out yeah um what's important if you're going if you're going to try and uh, put it on record which 
is an unusual concept anyway, is to make sure that, that the noise of the balls or the noise of the juggling does produce some sort of rhythmic sound so people can hear it and understand what's happening. Yeah. Because otherwise all you'll have is the music and then suddenly there'll be sort of, uh, you won't hear very much and everyone wonder what the hell's going on, think maybe the group's just packed up for the night or something and they won't realize what's happening. So the only way you can get the, the concept of juggling onto a record mm -hmm. is to have uh, whatever's being juggled with making uh, a rhythmical noise. Happy, can you make more rhythmical noise with your balls? Uh, let's just try, let's just try. So not balls mm. together, do you think? Yeah. No, no accompaniment for a moment. Yeah. I just want to, because this is, will be the big passage. Right. But failing that, what, what else could one tie to his balls to, to make up? Well, either. I don't know what those balls are made of. If you could have something inside them which rattle. What are they? Are they solid, are they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I should have something inside my balls, shouldn't I? Yes. Well, I mean, ideally, you'd want uh, hollowed balls with beans in, because then you'd hear mm. them go up and you'd go up and down, up and down, and you'd hear the different shaking noises of them. Um, well, then, what about the old uh, circus drum roll? Yes. Just building up the suspense, and then let, let him drop. Let him drop his balls. Yeah. Drop his balls. I mean, if somebody's building up a, a drum roll, people want to know why, what's happening. If it's building up and they can't hear anything, they wonder what it's doing it for. You see. Well, we could have the commentary saying Happy's balls are going higher and higher and higher and higher, and the drum roll is going with that, and the suspense is building up, and then suddenly he drops it. Yes, it's, well, it's a very interesting idea. Actually, it's very, because as you say, it's unusual. Yeah, but I think you can get straight there. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like, I mean, I'd like to hear sort of more of it, if, if I could. Again, it gives me sort of, you know... Okay, well, well, we'll just have Happy alone, because Mr. Satchel just wants to hear a little bit more of him. Right. Um, what about the, the LP thing to do? Yeah, okay, okay, because yeah. this is a variation. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, give him two bars and then go, abs go out completely. No, keep the drum out now. It's a pretty subtle sound, this. Yeah. You see the suspense of it, is, is what I'm thinking. And if we, if he keeps, he can keep that up for five minutes. Really? <laughs> but would you, do you see any, uh, anything finer one can do? I mean, would you, would you do it double track, the, the whole thing, anyway? Um. Or would you do without the group? I mean, I no, I, I think I think the group's a very good idea because it, yes. it adds it adds interest to the whole operation anyway. Oh, um, well, if you say so. The, the more the group's left out, the more he has to right. have things, get, you know, actual sounds going for himself. Um, in in you know, uh, well, th this is why why can't we use happy the the noises he can make uh, with his mouth as well? He makes noises. You know, he whistles. Yes, so that can be used, but it's got to have something behind it, you see. Because, I mean, I mean, Garner did that, but then he used to do his piano playing, he used to grunt, and everyone loved that. Uh, well, what about the grunt? The grunt is on the way back. Right, let's try it. Come on, with the, with, uh, give him eight bars in, leave happy 20, 20 bars on his own, grunting. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I like that. I never heard the Houdini uh, recording. No, no. I've got my ears open now for uh, an escapologist one. Um, just kidding. <laughs> Yes, I, I mean, I think the basis, I think you've got to build the basis up and the balls making a noise and then other things on top to add to it, to give it yeah, colour and I texture. Like, like happy and the grunters. How do you think that goes? Yeah. It sounds a bit too, um, I mean, I think Mr. Happy's a great name. Yeah, um, so do I. 
I, I think I think you just would want to call it that and leave it at that. Mr. Hat. Yeah, and I think it could it could work if it's done in the right way. Uh, I think the music is quite important to it because you can um, you can doing the music in a break. You can level it at as wide a market as possible. I.e., you can do at the radio and at discos and other things. Um, because the wider market you give yourself, the more chance you have of... Um... I don't know that it'll go. Bill. I don't know that it'll go. Um, just go, get, get back into the act, will you? Um, just, I just want to see the balls up a thing. Um, do you hear that word reveal? Which somebody said then. No. Well, that was the producer of this program telling me to explain to you that we're on semi camera. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere over there. Uh. Life is a gamble where the thoughts are true. Sometimes the odds are right against you. When problems come to stay, someone could step up and say, Turn and look across the way and smile. You're on candy camera. Smile. You're the star of the show. Show, just like a lady.